2011 Ford F-150 with a 5.0. Quick video on how to replace the serpentine belt. Pop your hood. So once you get your hood open, you can see our belts are down in there. And it's kind of hard to access up here, but it is doable. Uh, Cause you got your air intake and all that in the way. You can remove that if you want, give you a little more room, but I find it easier if we go down below. So as you can see from down below here, got a lot better access. Uh, this truck does have a lift, which does make it a little bit easier. So these trucks came with two belts. Uh, the first one's going to be for your water pump and then your alternator. And then the second belt is going to be for your AC compressor. And I'm going to be replacing the water pump alternator one because as you can see, this belt is starting to fray and it's about ready to snap. Um, the customer I'm doing this for is on a tight budget and they just want to do the belt. They're not going to do the tensioner, but I always recommend doing the tensioner with the belt. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this belt off real quick. So go ahead and grab a 15 millimeter. We're going to get on the uh, tensioner pulley right there. And you're going to pull downward. As you pull downward, go ahead and slide the belt off the tensioner pulley there. Go ahead and relieve that tension. Get that out of the way. And you can go ahead and slide this belt off your water pump pulley. Off your alternator and then off your crankshaft pulley there. So let's take a look at our old and new belt. As you can see, this old belt was about ready to snap. It's missing some of the grooves and everything else. So I'm going to be replacing it with this Bando 6PK1625. Got this off of Amazon. It was only like 13 bucks. I'll put a link in the description for it. But just go ahead and uh, measure that up to your old one. Of course, it's probably going to be shorter because it's not stretched yet. But just make sure it's the same length. And then, of course, has the same number of grooves. So go ahead and grab your new belt. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it around the water pump pulley first up there so get it up around that and then I'm going to come down to the alternator here get around that pulley come down around the crankshaft pulley so it's sitting there kind of like that Go ahead and grab your socket wrench. Get on your tensioner pulley there. Go ahead and pull that down. Get your belt around your tensioner pulley right there. Make sure that's centered. Make sure you're in all your grooves on your pulleys. Relieve the tension. And that's all there is to it. So now let's just go ahead and start it, make sure it's all good. And as you can see, that's spinning with no issues, so we should be good. And you can go ahead and shut it off. Okay, so that's going to wrap up the video. Again, this was a 2011 Ford F-150 with a 5.0. Went ahead and replaced the main serpentine belt for the alternator and water pump. It seriously takes you maybe five, 10 minutes to do this at the most. Really simple to do on these trucks. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.